Okay, guys, I-30. The point of this class, first of all, a lot of guys from the top of guard, they reach, they push on the neck, or they muscle pound choke. We have to know, first of all, feel comfortable. Always got to defend your neck. Just because I say it won't work, I've almost been put to sleep with muscle pound from inside, from me on the bottom. So, like, you do have to take it seriously if you start feeling it on your neck. But it should be easy to defend. We should feel safe with this. The choke, I grab my left hand on the lapel, my right hand holds this way. So left hand holds thumb up, right hand holds thumb towards me. And I'm going to push that way, that way. So I get my weight up on him, and I'm going to make him tap. I don't recommend this choke, but a lot of guys do it. A lot of guys do that, or they watch Friday the 13th, and they choke like this. Same thing. Especially when the guy stands up, that's what we're going to be focusing on for this class, like that. You're going to see it a lot. Whenever I go to the white belt tournaments, I always think, man, hope we have this technique well. So now, Brian, give me on top, please, sir. Right here. First, defending the position. If it's a Friday the 13th choke, I can usually tuck my chin. I can move his arms out. I can go how I want. Usually not as dangerous. The masa palm is the one that can start putting you to sleep. Do it right just so I can explain it. Go ahead. He gets up. All his weight's on this arm. What I got to do is roll this way. Grab the top of his fist, pinch my elbow down. So I grab, pinch, and I roll my whole body back. And that's going to pull it off my neck. That being said, what we're going to do right now is arm bar him. So we're going to attack. But if you feel in too much danger, pressure, roll, grab, pull it back. Okay, it's very difficult to resist that. But what I'm going to do is when he does that, my movement's this. I'm going to start with my hand, one in the lapel one on the tricep. This is usually where I start. So when we're down on the knees, if I don't know what to do, I put a hand in the lapel. Because now if he spaces out, I can threaten the front choke. Always one of my most dangerous weapons. My left hand holds right here. Here we go. He stands up. Very important. Watch my legs. I walk my legs up. One, two. Okay? That's the first most important part. I don't let go and try to go right for the arm bar. I go one, Two. Sometimes if I have to go three, four, that's fine, but I usually do it in two. I keep my hips as high as I can. Now look at my hands. I let go with the arm that's deep. This is the one I want. I reach like this. Look, both hands are pointing palms towards him. Grab right like that. Right like that. Right like that. I like to have the students do this. Grab. Grab. Notice my left hand. I don't grab. I don't grab. I just go like this around it, and I pinch. Pull that arm out. He doesn't realize it as being as dangerous as it is, but his arm gets very stuck. Kind of like if you have children, Curious George sticks his hand in the bottle and he can't get his hand out. Right here I make a small hole and now his hand is bigger than his wrist. So here we go. Boom. They practice. Walk the legs up. Switch. Now this is palm away because what I'm going to do now is pivot my body, come around on the arm bar. Now, pop, there's my arm bar. The next thing that we practice from here is immediately I'm going to try to sweep the guy. So if I get the arm right away, that's great. Don't put your weight down yet. But when the guy puts his weight down, sometimes I don't get it right away. So notice, he's a table with three legs. One, two, three. But the one direction I can push him that he's not going to be able to defend it is that way. So I'm strong with my hamstrings, but right now my hamstrings are pushing towards this leg. Okay? So I need to take my head and put it between his legs. Now he's going to lose his balance. He has nowhere to stop. And now I can finish the arm bar. Once again, please, sir. Brian's in my guard. We do a little quicker. He stands up. One, two, switch. Bang, there's my arm bar. I can finish it right here. Notice, this is exactly how I like to finish the arm bar from the guard. I get good leverage. I can come up higher right on his wrist. Bent with my elbow, bang, there's my arm bar. What happens is the guy, the guy doesn't, he puts his weight down on me, so right away I'm spinning and getting ready to sweep. Right back up. Sometimes, spin around so I face the camera, please. The other way. <laughs> so here I am. Sometimes what happens, he gets down on me, and I have to do the sweep. Like he starts really focusing on defending this arm. Finger on. My hand has to stay through the middle like that. So I always threaten the arm bar. If he lets go, or I have the opportunity, I'm going to grab his arm right there and arm bar him. But he's low. My hand grabs right under here. So if my right hand was in for one reason or another, stick my left hand in, take my right hand out, fish between his legs. I want to get my head between his legs. So I push, 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 get there. Now my hamstrings go, and I can lift, 
and it pushes him right towards the table, leg, that he's missing. Boom! He's on his back. Now I can work on opening it up and finishing the arm bar. It's the class this week. Guys, if you're not students at Eastern Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, come down and take a class. We'd love to see you. Thank you very much.